Hey, L.A. Rat's gonna take this town. Reggie, not now. Don't run off. I do get very bored with this game. Come on, Tasty Kid. No. Reggie, don't run across the road. Miss me. Oh, if Roland wasn't lazing beside the pool, I wouldn't have to stop Reggie causing car accidents every five minutes. Oh, that pool's lovely this afternoon, Errol. Possibility of you ever taking that paddy jacket off? You're in bed, you fool! I have to wear this, because the air conditioning's freezing. I'm gonna die of pneumonia next. Do you have to do that for hours on end? Too many channels in this country. There's 63 on this set alone. There's nothing worth watching. Put Richard Simmons on, that exercise bloke, and we can all have a laugh. Yay! No. I'm looking for QVC. Who what? The old shopping channel, QVC. I bought three sheds yesterday for a bargain price of $600. $600 for three sheds? That's extortionate. Yes, it was buy two, get one free. If you don't mind me asking, what's the point in buying three sheds? They were on special offer, so I had to buy them. It was the same with the giant blue trash container. I got that for $250, including free delivery. Well, where is it now, then? It's on the forecourt. You can't leave that I saw there. It was a bargain. Anyone at the hotel can use it. Ugh, you cannot leave that I saw stuck on the forecourt. Ugh, excuse me while I go and scream. Ugh. Bill Schrader. Hey, Roland. Hey, what's the matter? Errol, he's obsessed with buying rubbish from that stupid shopping channel. Well, actually, I must confess, I ordered three porcelain pink buckets yesterday. Pretty little plant holders they are. Mm. Mm. What is the matter with you all? Well, it's addictive, Roland. Yeah, obviously, but it's an expensive addiction. Get addicted to something that don't cost anything. I'm addicted to Hollywood. Let's go up to the sign. Oh, not again. Hey, look, Kev, I don't believe it. It's Pharaoh Bill with her, his skirt. He's still on foot since you borrowed his Spice Girls car? Dismantled it, you mean? Have you shipped all the pieces of the Spice Girls car to Christie's? Hey, yes, Roland. We'll make a fortune auctioning all the bits. And then you pay him back? Yeah, of course I will. Come on, let's go up to the sign. <laughs> Look at all them expensive homes, Kev. Guess who lives there? Michelle Pfeiffer. No, that's Madonna's place, that is. Listen, I can hear a baby crying. Shut up, ladies. Oh, there's nothing like coming up here, Kev, when I'm in need of a quick fix. Oh, I love it up here. This is my town, Hollywood. I belong here. Roland Rutt's on a Hollywood high. Yeah. If only we could get a series with NBC or Fox, then we could pay the hotel bill. You do realise we owe 12 months room rent. Look, I'm a superstar, right? Yes, Roland. So I don't pay for anything. They should be grateful I'm staying there. Mm, but they don't know you're famous, Roland. They will do, Kev, mark my word. When I break onto American TV and put rubbish like them five mincers in leotards, the Power Rangers to shame, don't make me laugh. I'll be the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, mark my word, Kev. Turtles are out, rats are in. You are wonderful, Roland. Yeah, I know I am, Kev. Here, book me into the Betty Ford Clinic. I need to network with a few film directors. Bay Ford Clinic's a drug rehabilitation centre. So? Well, you've never touched drugs, Roland. I oh, know, I'm not that stupid, Kevin. I'll pretend I'm out me head. And then when I'm in there, I'll mingle with all them sad media people who are out their heads. And while they're in detox, I'll twist their arms and get them signing me up for a series. Yay! What a wonderful idea! So get on your mobile, Kevin. Book me in. I'm going to Wendy's. 
Who's she, a new agent? It's a burger joint, you fool. <laughs> I like eating here because it looks like a nuclear fallout shelter, but I want to go somewhere where the stars hang out. Have you put me into the Betty Ford Clinic yet? It's too expensive. I put your table at Cafe 50s instead. It's very trendy and uh, a lot of media people go there. Good thinking, Kev, yeah. We might find someone famous in there for me to network with. <laughs> Not another one of them retro 50s caps, Kev. I'd rather be at the Betty Ford Clinic. But you might bump into someone famous. I'd better, otherwise I'll smack you around the head. Thank you, Roland. <laughs> Uh, anybody famous in here? Excuse me, I'm in the business, so you can all relax. Drinks are on me. <laughs> Hello there. Hang on a minute, I recognise you. You're in Beverly Hills 90210, innit? Uh, uh, no. No, oh, uh, well, never mind. Uh, uh, you aren't famous by any chance, are you? No, I wouldn't say that I'm very famous at all. Well, you've been in films, though? Yeah, yeah, I did a film when I was younger. I did a movie called The Never Ending Story Part 2. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, there was all them flying things. Hello, love. Yeah, take your seats. Yeah, I'll be round in a minute to see if you're famous. Yeah, see you, mate. Yeah. Fancy a night of fun with two fat hippos. <laughs> Is that you on that poster up there? Yeah. What a load of rubbish that film was. What's your name? My name's Kenny. Kenny, running rat. How old were you uh, when you made Never Ended Story then? Well, I was 14. I almost turned down the park because I wasn't going to get to surf for the whole summer. And did it put you off uh, being an actor? No, I loved every minute of it. The only thing was I was bummed out to be in Germany for the whole summer. Uh, lots of young child actors have gone off the rails, haven't they? Were you ever tempted? I still am. You look as though you're uh, off the rails now, actually. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it was good therapy for me when I was younger because I was always the loud, smart ass in my classroom, so... This way I got to, you know, be loud and get paid for it on the set of a big multi-million dollar picture. How long did it take to film? Four months. Have you done any TV stuff and things like that? Because I want to get into TV, you see. I'm networking. That's why I'm here, you see. Yeah, I've, I've done some TV. Lately, I've been um, directing music videos. And Where were you born? I was born here at UCLA Hospital, right here in uh, Los Angeles. Do you like living here in L.A.? I like L.A. because, I mean, the weather's good. I can go surf one day. I can go see... A, you know, my favorite band in concert, one place, go see an independent film that doesn't make it to other places another night. It's totally uninteresting, isn't it? You sound washed up to me. What kind of advice can you give to a struggling rat? I think there's plenty of rats in this business already, but I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. Here, yeah, what are your hobbies apart from babes in? I'm into surfing. Oh, I like to surf. Yeah. You, you like to surf? Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> Where do you surf then? Uh, I just got back from Costa Rica. Ooh, that's a bit exotic, isn't it? Do you go surfing at Redonda Beach? Nah, Redondo's never really that good. I like Malibu or San Diego. Yeah, or... San Diego's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's nice down there. Well, uh, are you going surfing today? Yeah, I was just about to go. The waves are killer right yeah, now. Yeah, can I come? You want to go surf? Yeah. Well, you better get your bill first, then you? Hey, someone called? No, no, not you. This must hey. be one of your friends. Oh, oh no. Good to see you. Oh, look, I don't know who he is. He's stalking me. I can't go anywhere in this town without him popping up. He's driving me insane. I used to work over at Bob's, but now I work here because this place is great for networking celebrities. Because I'm an actor. Yeah, we know that. Hey. Is he famous? Yeah, he was in Never Ending Story, do you remember? He was young then, though, 14, yeah. But you keep your hands off him, because if he's got any contacts, I'm having them, all right? Hey, well, I'm trying to be famous too, you know. Yeah, and that's a Never Ending Story too, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>